Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix one error of AdSense saying your URL cannot contain a host's partner. Now, uh, Google AdSense, before they used to allow you to uh, use a blogger, so then to add the code into your blogger and straight away the ads will start showing. Let's say within five minutes, the ads will start showing. So you go a couple of uh, different AdSense account. You go, uh, non-hosted AdSense account, which means you apply through the website by going to www.google.com forward slash AdSense. That's when you apply with your website. And you go a hosted AdSense, which means you can apply directly from your blog. To apply from your blog, first what you do is you log in to your uh, Google account, okay? And then just type in blogger or blogger.com and just go straight to your blog. Now, as I mentioned before, basically, all you had to do is just create one blog, go to the layout, and, and just add the code in there, and the ads will start showing. But recently, Google has changed this, which means you go to check, when you log in, you have to check this dollar, and you need to see if your blog is available to apply, which is called as a hosted AdSense account instead of non-hosted AdSense account is called hosted AdSense account which means you need to apply from your blog and then Google will uh, review your account and then approve or not basically your account so when we click in here we can see the orange button and it's just saying that my account my blogger account is uh, available to uh, apply for AdSense. So basically, I can apply if I want to. And if I want to apply, it's not and hard. Basically, all you got to do is just click up this button. Then it says, um, which account do you want to log in with? Uh, I'm just going to, since I have AdSense account already, just showing up here. Uh, but if you don't have, after you um, click the button, basically, I accept the association, then basically it's going to take you to a page to add your own information, including your name, your family name, and the blog URL already is showing automatically by Google, and then your address and so on, and um, you got the email and password, so then uh, the account will go for review, which means within a couple of days, couple of days, it shouldn't take longer than that, unless Google is extremely busy doing, you know, dealing with so many applications, else it shouldn't take more than a couple of days. I'm talking about maybe three to five days, no more than that. If it takes more than that, then basically it could be an issue. Sometimes, sometime in rare cases, you may receive an email, let's say after seven days, seven to 10 days, but it shouldn't take that long. Then all you need to do is just click on that button. In this case, I'm gonna click basically because I got the same uh, account where I have my blogs. I also have my AdSense account, full AdSense account. So then that's what I've done basically. And now I have connected that blog with uh, my AdSense and just it says, congratulations, the AdSense widget has been added to your template. Please uh, press continue to customize your AdSense settings. So it's easy basically, just click that. And then it just tells you your publisher ID and all that basically. And it tells you where you want the ads to show. So in this case, I'm just going to type in that. You can choose basically. This is the recommended, uh, you know, spots within your blog from Google itself. However, if you choose something else, just to uh, put one ad only, then you can select that. Or if you want just one below the post, then basically you can select that. However, this one is the best one is recommended. And then just click on save and changes has been done. So what do you do is now we have to go and have a look at the blog and we, we may not see at the moment I'm saying ads showing on our website. As you can see that's one large in here and then we will have another one underneath. So let's say we got the code up here. Um, we need to change a couple of things. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to change that um, because this code has been added before. That's the one responsive as which we have right now and just click on save. If you need to add another one, you can do that. It's easy. Just click on add a gadget. So basically, you don't need to go to HTML or JavaScript. You need to go to a dollar sign. In this case, this one in here, just click on plus. 
and then automatically it does show and join the text or text and image together is recommended text and image because the ads will start rolling and just click on save and then the it will be added in here afterwards then you can just drag and drop put it whatever you want to once you do that basically within um, 10 minutes as should uh, start showing up now i have a full essence account and i have an old account as well so it's a bit different new accounts kind of whatever you're doing if you want to add ads uh, in a website in a new website or a new blogger basically they want to review it first before they allow ads to show in your website however if you go an old account access account most times within five ten minutes without reviewing or anything ads start showing straight away in this case uh, i'm lucky maybe because i've got an old account and the ads will start showing basically very soon so that's how you do with that another thing is if you have a personal website yourself it's easy just click on sites and this is the problem when you have basically when, when you try to add a site it doesn't allow hosted uh, websites in this case i'm talking about like blogger hosted is called that you're not hosting yourself uh, a paid domain but you are hosting a free domain in this case as you can see yourself instead of having the uh, university of oxford college dot com or dot net or dot org which has been paid basically i'm using the google blogspot pcom which means it is a hosted account from google and that's when you start showing up let's say i'm gonna try to add this right now okay uh right paste in here and just click on next it's not bringing anything most times it brings an error just saying you know you cannot add this type of uh, hosted uh, you know websites however if you have a personal website yourself you can just put your entire domain here include the http or https it depends if you have the uh, security website installed into, uh, that's extra basically and then just click on next and then google will provide you a code because they want to see uh, if that site belongs to you so that code you need to go install it directly into your website if you are in a blogger again it's easy uh, you can just go and add a gadget as i mentioned i mean with a blogger now you have to go directly and apply from inside the account however just in case you want to add the html code directly then basically you can do just go html add there save it and you're done if you are in a wordpress it's pretty easy uh, I'm just gonna go basically and um, I'm gonna log in first and I'll show you how to do it after you grab the code so after you grab the code uh, you need to go to appearance go to theme editor uh, you need to go to um, header in this case just here and then just search for a this particular head uh, it depends on the theme sometimes a head can come up with a closing bracket example uh, it goes like this and then uh, sorry uh, with a closing bracket like that um, if you want to just search for this basically just hit ctrl and then f in your keyboard and then a pop-up comes up just type in that and hit enter it will take you directly to the head in this case the theme that I'm using myself it doesn't have the closing bracket in head however I have find it myself so basically you could do just after this go down just once and then you can paste the code of AdSense here once you do that you click on update file and you are done in that case you have verified your website by showing a code into your website now Google knows that and then they will have to basically verify your website and the ads will start showing up after ads has been has start showing up that means your uh, website has been approved all you need to do is you need to go to add more ad units so just go to ads and then you can clear uh, this is set up out of ads uh, that's to uh, you know uh, prove that you have your own website then or else you can go to add units in here 
and then choose the type of ads you want to show up. In this case, if you click on new ad unit, then you have a couple of ads to show up. As you can see, it says text and display ads. The one which is responsive ads that you can use with a size, different size of ads and different color of ads to match your website. However, if you want to just leave it, most times I leave it just responsive, which means Google will choose the ads for me and they're going to put the right size. Uh, it depends on the size of the website. Let's say like I have my website here and I will show you now I've used the responsive ads and the ads one start showing right at the top up here. And then I go another one close to the logo and then I go another one just above the um, post and I go another one on the right hand side. So um, some people they ask how many uh, ad unit and how many link unit. Ad units Google has removed the limit it used to be three. Three ad unit, three link unit. Now ad units, uh, the limit has been lift up. So basically you can install more than three. Link unit is still remain the same, which means you can install more than three. I don't think you need more than three, but just in case, you know, some people they do. Most times people they do this kind of style, they install link units, are people who are using a download stuff. It could be download templates, download you know, uh, games, download some other stuff, whatever you want to show, and then they put links because links they match 100% your content. Example if we click, uh, let's just say, one of the posts, and then the ads will start show up. This is different type of ad. When we go up here, um, if we have in feed ads, if we have in article ads, in article ads is Pretty good one because that's the one in article ad. This is how it shows up and it shows absolutely great. Something that it matches. It doesn't match my website, but I'm saying is more like since I have downloadable stuff, it kind of goes with the um, title of your post. And if your title is about download, then automatically it grabs a something to download. In this case, a PDF uh, software probably. And then we go another ad and it does the same thing. Now, when we go to the link unit, this is what we have. Free Roblox, Imbot Cheat, uh, Roblox for free, en uh, Engine Injector, and so on. All this, 100%, it matches uh, my website because my website is about games, so it's exactly that. So that's why people, they use, or some webmaster they use, uh, links instead of basically banners. They also use um, banners, but they also use links because links are can be more clickable as it matches 100% your content. As you can see up here, the ads, um, I've, I put it responsive ads and it doesn't really match 100%. But it goes kind of, you know, a downloadable stuff. However, when you go to the link, it matches 100% because it talks about um, you know, games that I have been uploading my website. That's why you need to do that. I hope this video is helpful. I have tried, you know, to um, include just about everything and to explain why uh, sometimes some um, AdSense account, and if they are new AdSense account, they won't allow you to use a hosted website. In this case, I'm talking about Blogspot or any other that is, example, your domain name, you have your chosen domain name dot com forward slash and then is or dot uh, you know subdomain dot com and so on. So this is these are subdomains. They're not even domains. That's why you can't use basically on that. Now um, I'm just going to refresh to see if the ads has start showing. Not at the moment, but soon should start showing up. Right, so that's it for this video. Guys, if you want to subscribe, I'll keep updating basically with the new stuff, explaining to you a lot about AdSense, about YouTube, and about so many other social networking websites, starting from how to get traffic into how, how to make money online and uh, how to do stuff in general. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next video.